Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was a groundbreaking entry in the non-Disney MCU Marvel canon, but it wasn't without its mistakes. It can't be easy for animators to track everything in a movie that's this multidimensional. Literally. But we couldn't help but get a little distracted once we started seeing the errors and inconsistencies. Did you catch these mistakes when you went Into the Spider-Verse? Number 1. We give this headline 2 stars. Remember when a devastating review of Guy Fieri's Times Square restaurant went viral? Well, so did the creators of Into the Spider-Verse. This clearly inspired the movie's newspaper pan of the parody chain restaurant TGI Spideys. Brilliant as the cultural reference may be, it deserves some critique of its own. The paper reads, Spider-Man is New York's hero, its savior, placing an apostrophe in the its where it doesn't belong. Number 2. Do Spider-Man's powers include optical illusions? A scene where Miles finds himself in trouble has some shadows of inconsistency. Jefferson indicates he can see Miles' shadow moving while Miles is tied up, but when Miles is moved against the door, a second look at the shadow shows no changes to the size or location of the shadow. The shadow also doesn't appear to be cast on the other side of the door where it should be. We don't necessarily understand all the physics of the Spider-Verse, but this seems a little suspicious. Number 3. That was easy cleanup. In a scene outside Aunt May's house with Peter, Miles, and Gwen, Peter starts to walk away from his new Spidey family. Gwen isn't having it and shoots a web to pull him back. In the next shot, her web has worked to bring Peter back, but the web is completely gone. Now how can we get this solution for the cobwebs in the corner of our attic? Number 4. Look who's back. In the battle royale between the Spider-Verse heroes and the collection of Spider-Man villains at Aunt May's house, there are a lot of characters to keep track of. We may not know the exact location of each hero and villain at every moment, but we feel like the animators should. That's why it's so surprising when Aunt May knocks Tombstone out of the house with a bat, only for him to appear back inside the house in a subsequent shot. We're still proud of Aunt May anyway. Number 5. These two are not identical. In a delightful reference to the internet's favorite Spider-Man meme, Into the Spider-Verse has a Spider-Man from one universe head to encounter a Spider-Man from another universe to engage in lots of pointing at each other. There's a police car in the background, but the writing on the side changes mid-scene. In the first shot, the car reads NYPD 5087, but when we cut back, the periods between the NYPD initials and the precinct number are gone. Number 6. Things get a little hairy for a minute. Miles gets his sticky webby fingers stuck in Gwen's hair in a classic embarrassing high school moment. We've been there. But notice that Miles' thumb is not wrapped up in Gwen's tresses when the incident occurs. A while later, when Miles shows evidence of the shameful encounter, all five of his fingers are covered in blonde locks. Miles, wash your hands, dude. Number 7. We're ripping this animation apart limb from limb. During a fight sequence, Dr. Octopus wraps up Spider-Man with two of her arms, uses one to hang to the ceiling, and another to attempt to end him. When we cut to wide and see Miles fight back, she's only holding him with one arm and there's a second arm on the ceiling. In the next shot, it's back to the original positioning. Number 8. Miles makes a lousy thief. In Olivia's office, we see Miles trying to get away with both a computer tower and a monitor. When Olivia threatens Peter Parker and we cut to Miles again, he's now only carrying the tower, not the monitor. Honestly makes sense since all the data is probably on the tower anyway. Number 9. Hey diddle diddle, what's wrong with this fiddle? Miles is fiddling with his pen while trying to come up with his paper in school. The pen moves anxiously in the crook of his thumb, but in the next angle the pen is being twiddled between his index and middle fingers. Mistakes like this are so disappointing, we had great expectations. Number 10. In what universe does hair do this? In a nod to the iconic kiss between Tobey Maguire and Kirsten Dunst, the Mary Jane of Miles' universe is shown kissing Spider-Man while hanging upside down. Only her hair stays upright and perfectly styled. Maybe Spider-Man hooked her up with web and her hairspray, because we've never seen hold this powerful. Number 11. This door comes out swinging. When we first see Aunt May open her door, it swings outward. In all future shots, the door opens inward. You know, the way all front doors actually do in the real world. Number 12. Mamma mia, this is a big mistake. Peter Parker is lying on the floor and grabs the second to last slice of pizza, leaving one slice in the box. But when we get the overhead shot, there are two slices of pizza in the box. We knew New York pizza was the best, but we didn't know it could magically multiply. Number 13. Drink up. When Miles is meeting with Peter Parker over burgers and fries, it seems like his meal came with a drink. Or did it? His big cup and straw completely disappear between shots. Number 14. What's with Miles and these vanishing monitors? 
Initially, we see a two-monitor setup along with a microscope in Miles' room. But in another shot, his desk is down to one monitor and there's no microscope to be found. Number 15. It's time to face the music. So how exactly does object permanence work in the Spider-Verse? Because a boombox next to Miles disappears between shots, and in the same scene he picks up a backpack that wasn't next to him in the previous angle. Number 16. Dr. Olivia speaks for herself. A video being projected in class has no on-screen text, but when the teacher pauses to scold Mild for arriving late, there's a lower third subtitle identifying Alchemax head scientist Dr. Olivia over the same frozen frame. It was probably an idea later in production to introduce the audience to Dr. Olivia here, but we were paying about as much attention as these high school students and barely noticed until it was time to catch this mistake. Number 17. A fire hydrant grows in Brooklyn. As Miles makes his way through the streets of New York, he jumps up to tap a street sign on a corner with no fire hydrant. But when we cut to wide after he face plants in the street, there's suddenly a fire hydrant there. Crazy how that happens. Number 18. It's a Christmas miracle. Miles knocks into a laptop that's playing a Spider-Man Christmas special, causing it to spin on the desk and face the door. But in the next shot, it's facing the opposite direction as if Miles never bumped into it. Number 19. Miles is a little tied up at the moment. When Miles finds himself in disarray on the floor, his tie is flipped over his shoulder amongst the other chaos strewn about. In a different angle, the objects around him are all in their exact same positions, only the tie has switched to the opposite shoulder. Number 20. Your shoe's untied. Or is it? In an encounter with Spider-Man, Spider-Man notices Miles' shoes are untied, but in the next shot we see Miles' shoes and they're not untied at all. What are you trying to pull here, Spider-Man? Number 21. Spider-Ham is making moves. Again, we'll stress that we do not have a PhD in multiverse mechanics, but we think this teleportation is animation error, not some supernatural force. When the various versions of Spidey gather from their universes at the Collider and begin glitching out, Spider-Ham is initially on top of the case containing the black and yellow Spidey suit. In the next shot, he is moved to the right and appears on the blue and red suit. The other characters seem to remain in their spots, so this definitely seems to be a bug, not a feature. Number 22. Was that Gwen? In a brief moment of dialogue, Gwen is saying one thing, but her lips are saying something else. When Gwen pointedly declares, you don't get to like my haircut, her mouth movements don't align with her speech. Accurately syncing animated lip movements and dialogue seems mind-bogglingly difficult to us, so we won't be too hard on the animators for this one mismatch moment. What did you think of all these mistakes and continuity errors in Into the Spider-Verse? Let us know what other errors you've spotted in the comments. And if you love animated shows and movies from Marvel to Pixar, we've got you covered here at The Things Animated. Subscribe to our channel for all kinds of videos breaking down hidden details, Easter eggs, and clever references in your favorite animated films and TV shows. Thanks for watching.